Do you think you'd be friends with Meredith? I think you would. Say hi, Meredith. I want to be friends. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Candace, in case you didn't know. And today I am excited for what we're about to do because it's gonna be a fun video. I will be eating like Taylor Swift for 24 hours and how I found out. What, Posey, I need you to be in this. <sighs> Damn it. Posey's an integral part of this video because Taylor Swift has Scottish Fold, so I feel like that makes us like similar a little bit. Oh, there she is. No, 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 don't. Okay, so Posey hid under the bed. I'm gonna find her in a little bit. Look who I found, my baby. Just say hello and then we can leave. <laughs> All right. After a bunch of research I did on the internet because I'm a certified creep, I found out the main things that Taylor Swift uh, eats in a day. What my research has taught me is that during the week she's pretty strict, I guess, on what she eats, but she gives herself a break, which is why I'm excited for this because I was so relieved to see that her breakfast was not just like some sort of keto smoothie or some little thing of yogurt. This girl respects food, loves food, loves to cook, so we're gonna be cooking a lot, um, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a good day. Fun fact, um, my close friend from elementary school's mom was really, or is really close with Taylor Swift's mom, ergo, I'm really close to Taylor Swift. So this one like really hits hard to home, you guys. I also have a Scottish fault, so I think that we're kind of similar. I think we'd be friends, I think we'd get along. But um, yeah, I am, uh, I'm ready, let's do this. Hello and good morning everyone. It is time for breakfast. So I am making Taylor Swift's go to breakfast, which I thought would be like something bougie and healthy, but this is actually, it looks like it's gonna taste pretty good. It's a buckwheat crepe with ham, Parmesan cheese, and an egg over easy. So I am kind of amped about this. If I can have carbs and eggs and cheese for breakfast, I'm not gonna complain. Um, she also tops it off with a cup of OJ. So I think we're, we're gonna have a good start to the day. So let's get cooking. I've never made a buckwheat crepe before, but uh, fingers crossed we can do this. shot pretty decent yeah oh yeah okay okay let's taste this bad boy all right going in for the first bite here crepe it up let's get a little bit of everything all right got my got my bite here mmm mm-hmm Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, this is nice. I feel like I just woke up in my summer Malibu home, decided to just roll out of bed, have some coffee, and make some buckwheat crepes for the day. These are very good. I don't want to toot my own horn. I almost wish I added like a little more flavoring to it. Like this is a pretty white girl meal. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it could you could add a little sriracha or something to add a little more like spice to it. Um, I'm not mad at this. The good thing about these crepes is that you can make these ahead of time and have them throughout the week. 
and refrigerate them and then reheat them. So I might do that, even though this is just a 24 hour thing. Not mad. So Taylor Swift's lunch isn't that crazy. I'm gonna prep myself something. Um, she basically just says she has a salad with yogurt. Where's my yogurt? Just a sec. <laughs> Found my yogurt. Here it is. Um, I'm gonna have this low sugar vanilla yogurt. I currently just cut up some tofu that I'm going to cut and make and cook and prep myself a salad for lunch. Um, but I mean, it's nothing too crazy. I think dinner and dessert is where it's at. All right, getting ready for the day. I kind of wanted to do a little cutesy Taylor Swift inspired wardrobe. Um, don't kill me Swifties. Um, I, I think this looks kind of Taylor Swift-ish. Um, I don't have very many pastel things, but I feel like I'm gonna wear these little shoes from Ann Taylor. Um, this short little red skater dress and this um, jean jacket. And then maybe like some cute jewelry and then my only expensive purse because she's rich. So I think that this will work. Oh hi, hey, hello. Just getting ready for the day here. Looking cute, looking like a snack. So I think I'm ready to go. I uh, put on a little bit of makeup inspired by her uh, Entertainment Weekly cover shoot. It's like a nice blue top line and pink bottom line. I think it's cute. I'm no like Jeffree Star or like James Charles or like Tati, but I don't know. I think I did okay. <laughs> But I think I look cute. Mmm. I am going to meet some friends later this afternoon for a beer. Um, just, you know, some cutesy girl stuff. But it's a potluck and we need to bring something. And I thought, what else should I bring but Taylor Swift's famous chai cookies? So I'm gonna make those and uh, yeah. One quick uh, problem here, my mixer broke, so I'm gonna have to do this by hand. <laughs> All right, here we go. out of the oven. Let's hope they didn't melt. Okay. Ooh, looking good. So we're gonna let this cool. While we're letting them cool, I'm gonna make the icing, which is supposed to be made with eggnog, but it's uh, June. So I couldn't find eggnog anywhere. So I'm just gonna use milk. I'm wrapping up mixing this icing and it is fragrant. I wanna taste it. Oh. That's not bad. I thought it was gonna be way overpowering, but it's really not. I've got my icing at a good drizzling level here. Um, I'm always so surprised when it's like one tablespoon to one cup ratio I'm covered in powdered sugar. So I think these are looking great. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm dipping the top of the cookie into, oh my God, I just broke one. Okay, th this has been working. Better time than any to try them. Mmm. <laughs> I haven't had a real cookie in a long time. Mmm. Oh my God, these are fantastic, Taylor. If you ever watch this video, which I'm sure you never will, these are amazing and I will be making these. It's just chai-y enough to where you're getting this nice flavor with spices, but it doesn't feel like it's overly spiced. And it has a nice little crumbly, mm, crumbliness to it. It's not a crunchy cookie, it's a very fluffy cookie. I was dipping them, and this is what they looked like. So I was just putting the tops of them on the icing, bring them out. I think my friends are really gonna like this. And if they don't, more for me. 
All right, hi, this is my future self. I'm in a closet because Jack is watching a movie right now. But uh, my file for uh, introing the dinner got corrupt. So <laughs> this is my future self as I'm editing the video, uh, telling you guys that this is what the dinner was. Taylor Swift says that one of her go-to recipes is the Barefoot Contessa's mustard fish. So I'm gonna, well, I did make that. <laughs> I, I have the footage of the actual recipe, but um, yeah, I kind of dropped the ball on this one. But <laughs> Okay, I just made the cod. I plated it. Uh, I plated it here. Um, can you see it here? Let's. Why is this? Okay, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't look great. Yeah, it's not uh, extremely appetizing. It kind of looks like what my grandparents ate uh, when uh, they were in their home. But <laughs> it may taste good. I don't know. It's. The Barefoot Contessa, so I'm sure she can make a mean fish. Smells good. Mmm. Oh, I like this. It's very rich. It's like it's almost covered in a hollandaise sauce. This is Hey, I'm not mad. I feel bad I called it old people food. It probably still is, but it tastes great. And the other thing is, this was so easy to make. When I heard the title and the recipe name, I was like, oh boy, this is gonna be like, let's roast the whole damn fish. I need to catch it out of the Seattle Sound and then grab it and then just scoop out all of its guts and then like slowly roll it in salt. But basically what it was was going to Whole Foods, getting two fish fillets, um, smothering it with cream and mustard, which I'm not mad about and baking it for 15 minutes. And now I got this. And we got a visitor. Got a little visitor. Somebody smells the fish, huh? So I think we're having a good time. Overall, I have loved, um, I have loved this day. My cookies were a hit. And uh, I think, I think everything went really well. I'm happy with it. I'm a bigger Taylor Swift fan now. I like the approach to life of being able to make recipes that you love, that are also healthy and wholesome, um, but then being able to forgive yourself on the weekends and not be beating yourself up and eating what you want. She also drinks a ton of water. Um, she emphasized that everywhere, so I also definitely agree that that's a great way to, she loves her when her feet get rubbed. She's been very pro eating and positive about food and loving food and I always like to see when celebrities talk about that. I uh, hope you guys really liked this video. Um, <laughs> I can't believe she's sitting up here this long. Subscribe um, if you have another um, famous, if you have another celebrity in mind, let me know if there's any more posy content you wanna see, let me know too. Um, you know, we'll both be here. <laughs> All right guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe. All right, bye.